girls so i want to give you girls a little bit more tips on how i manipulate men and i told you girls when you first meet a guy listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them so for example if they're a businessman and they're constantly bragging about how good they are their businesses are going you can say babe i know that you're struggling a little bit and i'm not too sure if you can help me out but a b and c d this is what i need they are going to be triggered B. they're going to be like wait what do you mean babe i can help you out i'm not struggling financially like what are you talking about you are triggering emotion out of them to get something you want do you see where i'm coming and you girls are like so scared if you y'all just have to be bold for this and make it sound very innocent you do not want to offend him we can do this with their baby voices if he's a doctor you can use um his strengths against him like he's super smart you can say babe i know you're just a doctor but no you're just the doctor but do you know anything about this he's gonna be like yeah just because i'm a doctor doesn't know doesn't mean i don't know he will give you full-on details on everything he'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic like use these guys strength or advantage to get what you want out of them for example if he used to say he used to have a really abusive dad you can call him later on in the relationship this is all fake you can make up a fake ass story and be like baby i just got off the phone with my dad and he was yelling at me and he told me like he's not paying my car insurance anymore and i just don't know what to do i don't know who to talk to do you have any advice now that he has that kind of connection with you and the dad relationship with his he is going to step up and he's going to be like well babe how much is it how much how much is it you know like are you okay yada yada it's all a big ass mind game that yeah, use their strengths against them their weaknesses against them and even when i was telling you girls like in the beginning just listen to everything they're saying so you have an idea on who you're really talking to who you, how the way you can talk to them because it, it's just like very like first psychology think about it you tell somebody they're not going to do something they're going to do something to prove to you that they can especially if they can do it you know what i mean and like remember i told you girls oh boost the fuck out of their ego the reason why i tell you girls to do that is because i want you girls to break their ego before you ask for something so let's say before you ask for a phone or something to get paid you can be like babe back then did they have phones so you can remind him that you're the prize and he's older than you he's gonna be like oh did you know yeah this is that and then you can ask him for something because now he's reminded oh i'm she's the pretty girl here i'm the one that, you know she's the prize gotta put these guys in check sometimes you hate to see it this woman is sitting here teaching girls young women how to manipulate men by using the same tactics that she does now i haven't seen this whole clip but I'm about to watch it with you all. Let's get into it. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Give you girls a little bit more tips on how I manipulate men. And I told you girls, when you first meet a guy, listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them. So for example, if they're a businessman and they're constantly bragging about how good they are, their businesses are going, you can say, babe, I know that you're struggling a little bit and I'm not too sure if you can help me out, but A, B, and C, D, this is what I need. Pause. Fellas, you may disagree with me. Ladies, y'all may disagree as well. But I strongly, strongly encourage you men to not lend a dime to a woman that isn't your wife. Don't buy gifts. Don't give her money. I don't think it's the wisest thing to do. They are going to trigger be They're going to be like, wait, what do you mean, babe? I can help you out. I'm not struggling financially. Like, what are you talking about? You are triggering emotion out of them to get something you want. Do you see where I'm coming? A lot of women that teach this type of manipulation tactics use the same thing. It's, oh, look, I, I need money for this. I, 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 I'm in a bind right now. Do you think you can help me? with no intentions of ever giving that money back to the man. And they know that. And they know the man is not expecting the money back either. If anything, it's almost like he's playing for the box. And you girls are like so scared. Y'all just have to be bold for this and make it sound very innocent. You do not want to offend him. That's a shame. Instead of being innocent, she said, make it sound innocent. You don't want to offend him. The fact that you're sitting here lying 
and manipulating this man off of his emotions is you offending him and disrespecting. We can do this with our baby voices. If he's a doctor, you can use um, his strengths against him. Like he's super smart. You can say pause. I'm, I'm sorry. I look, I'm, I'm talking about this right now. So I'm gonna keep on pausing. She keeps saying stuff and I have to talk about it as I hear it. She says we can use our baby voices. That and what is that? That's women using their femininity, their vanity to get over on a man. We can do this with their baby voices. If he's a doctor, you can use um, his strengths against him. Like he's super smart. You can say, babe, I know you're just a doctor, but I know you're just a doctor, but do you know anything about this? He's gonna be like, yeah, just cause I'm a doctor doesn't know doesn't mean I don't know. He will give you full on details on everything. He'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic. Like, <sighs> Fellas, if you're wise enough, if you're wise enough, you'll be able to easily pick up on all the stuff that she's saying. Because the way she's talking is not how a regular female talks. Like, she, she, I know you're just a doctor, but do you know anything about... Like, the stuff that she's saying is not how a female that is serious about you would have a conversation with you. It's clear that this woman is talking to a man in a way to get something out of him. Don't fall for it. Like use these guys' strength or advantage to get what you want out of them. For example, if he used to say he used to have a really abusive dad, you can call him later on in the relationship. This is all fake. You can make up a fake ass story and be like, baby, I just got off the phone with my dad and he was yelling at me and he told me like, he's not paying my car insurance anymore and I just don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. Do you have any advice? Now that he has that kind of connection with you and the dad relationship with his, he is going to step up and he's going to be like, well, be like, well, babe, how much is it? How much, how much is it? You know, like, are you okay? Yada, yada. It's all a big ass mind game. I yeah, use their strengths against them, their weaknesses against them. And even when I was telling you girls, like in the beginning, just listen to everything they're saying. So you have an idea on who you're really talking to, who you, how the way you can talk to them. Because it's just like very like first psychology. Think about it. You tell somebody they're not going to do something. They're going to do something to prove to you that they can, especially if they can do it. You know what I mean? And like, remember I told you girls, oh, boost the fuck out of their ego. The reason why I tell you girls to do that is because I want you girls to break their ego before you ask for something. So let's say. Wow. She said, break their ego before you ask for something. I wonder if she is a Miami girl. She's kind of giving me Miami vibes right now. Some of them down there are already playing these type of games. She said, boost their ego. I'm not gonna lie, fellas, you know what it does to you when a woman boosts your ego. It makes you feel good, makes you feel great, makes you feel amazing, especially hearing it come from a woman that you have interest in. And look at her. She's letting it be known what power she has by doing such. Say before you ask for a phone or the reason why I tell you girls to do that is because I want you girls to break their ego before you ask for something. So let's say before you ask for a phone or something to get paid, you can be like, babe, back then did they have phones? So you can remind What she <laughs> boosting the ego while at the same time playing dumb, playing ignorant, playing the dumb blonde woman. What did she just expose? Hmm. What did she just expose? She just exposed that a lot of these men that she's out here dealing with are men that are much older, probably double, if not triple her age. Did they have phones back then? This manipulation tactic that she's using, almost like how people scam the elderly, you would think that this is what she's doing, but more face to face, more up close and personal. Did they have phones back then? You can be like, babe, back then, did they have phones? 
so you can remind him that you're the prize and he's older than you he's gonna be like oh did, you know yeah this is that did she say remind him that you're the prize and that he's older than you woman you landed a successful man you have nothing you're asking him for everything a cell phone money clothes trips who's the prize don't be delusional it doesn't look good on you you know yeah this is that and then you can ask him for something because now he's reminded oh i'm she's the pretty girl here she's the prize you gotta put these guys in check sometimes she's the prize just because you pretty don't make you a prize last night on the main channel i did a live stream reaction mr ballin told a story of a young man whose wife beautiful woman tried to put a hit out on him and take everything he had the first month that she met this man at starbucks the first month that she met him she stole about two hundred thousand dollars from him something like that what's pretty she was pretty but some people also think because of your deceitful ways that you're not pretty at least not on the inside and the inside could either enhance or decrease the attractiveness of the outside man y'all leave your thoughts comments and opinions down below and i'll catch y'all in the next one see ya